Hello, it's Nick, Nick Holt from Holtz. I have here Robert Morgan, who looks after our um, uh, antique uh, weaponry uh, division. Um, he has a certain item uh, which you'd just like to discuss with us. Um, but I'm going to leave, I'm not going to say a word. Um, the auction, I'll just tell you the auction's coming up in October, sorry, in uh, July. And um, I found this remarkably interesting. So please listen to Robert. Robert, over to you, Nick. Hi. Thank you, Nick. Now, this is a really interesting gun because these don't turn up very often. The observant amongst you might have noticed that there's no obvious lock workings, even though it looks like a, a mid-18th century hunting rifle, which is exactly what it is, except this is actually an air rifle. And um, it works on a bellows system. Inside the stock is a leather bellows. I'm not quite sure. There was two types of leather bellows used in these, in these type guns. Some of them were fired by flap springs that literally compressed a, a modified version of what you would have puffed your fire with in the old days. The other type were more like a concertina um, in the fact that they work from front to back. I'm not quite sure which type this is, but they all obviously operate in a similar way. A large key went onto this keyway here. The springs were cocked, and depending on whether it was the flat spring type or the bell or the um, concertina type, it was either pushed from hard from behind by a compressed coil spring, or it was squeezed top and bottom by two large flat springs. The gun was loaded, very similar to a a conventional air gun, a large pellet, sometimes a dart went into the um, into the breech. This is also quite an ingenious version of the gun maker's art in the fact that you notice that it's actually the tension of the forend wood that operates the barrel as a spring, <laughs> which is quite amazing. Um, and it was styled after the guns of the day. It's got a single set trigger like most of the hunting rifles of the, of the time. Sadly, it's missing its little peep sight. It would have had an adjustable peep sight on there because th these were meant for sort of small game or even indoor target work, although they'd, they'd be reasonably effective out to about sort of 40, 50 yards, but they weren't as powerful as their later pneumatic cousins that relied on a large pump to pre-charge an air reservoir. They came along after this. Very rare survivor, very rare survivor. It's un very unusual to see one that's complete. And um, as I say, it's coming up in the uh, sale in July. It's lot 20. So it's going through on the 10th of July in the morning. And uh, yeah, we'll see what, what it does, Nick. I mean, right. You know, this wow. it's certainly wow. not something that turns up every day of the week. So if there's some serious air gun collectors out there who want something that their friends won't have, I'll guarantee it, then this is the lot to look for. But they're nearly all continental, nearly all made in Switzerland and Germany. Um, this one's signed Wien, so it's, it's Vienna, Vienna, so yeah, it's, Vienna. it's actually yeah. Austria. But uh, they all come from that part of the world. The British didn't ever really make this type. Um, and the estimate? It's 1,000 to 1,500 is the estimate, which I think is an absolute bargain, to be honest, for something that old. And what date do you put on it? About 1750. About 1750. Wow, yeah. to survive that yeah. this length of time. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Well, good luck um, with it. Um, it's If you are an air gun collector, or um, then this has to be part of your collection. <laughs> You've got to be. Uh, um, it's um, a must have. <laughs> and, and to consider it's, you know, 200 years plus old and, and, and you can own it for a thousand pounds or whatever you said. So mm. It doesn't seem a lot of money. Mm. Um, so good luck. And, um, well, it's looking, yeah. for, it's looking for a new home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come and see us on the tent. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, all the best and thank you. Bye-bye.